Hey, what is going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link. Now, yesterday, of course, we covered uh, Bungie's weekly blog, This Week at Bungie, for the week of April 26th, 2018. And there was a lot of stuff to go over in that. We talked exotic masterworks, we talked some of the changes to the way a lot of our favorite exotic weapons are going to be working in Update 1.2.0. We covered a lot of really interesting stuff there, and if you haven't seen it, I'd invite you to go back and watch my video covering all of that. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But one big thing from the TWAB for this week that I didn't have time to cover in yesterday's video is, of course, the introduction of the ranking system in Crucible. Ooh man, we finally got a ranking mode for all you sweaty tryhards out there. And so I just want to take some time here to cover what we learned in yesterday's TWAB. And of course, you know, give some overall thoughts for how I feel about the way Bungie seems to be implementing a ranked system in Destiny 2. Alright, let's go ahead and get on into it. Bungie's senior Crucible designer Kevin Yanez sat down to talk a bit about some of the things that we're going to be getting when Season 3 drops in terms of Crucible rank. And he describes it like this. Seasonal Crucible ranks are comprised of two key mechanics, a level and rank points. As players earn points in each rank, they will level up and unlock new rewards for shacks to dole out in the tower. Leveling up gives players an assortment of Crucible tokens, Crucible engrams, and Masterwork cores depending on how far up they've leveled. That's right, the more you level, the more rewards you get. There are six specific Crucible ranks that a player can reach, starting with the rank of Guardian and ending with the players becoming Legend. Nice call back to Destiny 1 there. And here's of course the full list of those ranks. You start at Guardian, make your way to Brave, then Heroic, Fabled, Mythic, and finally Legend. And of course, this is going to be split between two ranked modes. We've got Valor for the Quick Play playlist and Glory for the Competitive. Valor will of course contain the quick play game modes Rumble and Mayhem, while Glory is going to be all competitive modes. And this is a quick rundown of the differences between the two. For Valor, your ranking points are going to cap out at about 2,000, and it's going to feature a win streak bonus that caps out at about 5 wins. Once you've reset 5 wins, it can of course be reset, with no cap on the number of streak resets you get per season. And it will automatically reset when a new season starts. Valor is going to have its own ornament, emblem, and weapon reward system, and certain rewards are going to require a fixed number of Valor resets. Which means there are going to be certain things you can earn only if you've met that 5 win streak and reset it enough times. Then, for the competitive glory playlist, your points are going to be capped out at about 5500, it will feature win streak bonus points, and adds a loss streak penalty for recurring losses, so if you keep losing in the glory playlist, you're going to lose some ranking. Additionally, players can earn bonus rank points or fend off point decay by completing at least three competitive matches each week. And your glory ranking is only going to reset when the season comes to an end. This of course also has ornament, emblems, and unique weapon rewards. But also features a unique seasonal chase weapon that can be earned once you reached fabled level, which is going to be about 40% of the way through your journey in the glory ranks. The first of these chase weapons is of course Redrix's Claymore, that high impact pulse rifle that increases in rate of fire whenever you get a precision kill and activate and utilize Outlaw. And finally, the glory rank mode is going to have ornaments for seasonal weapons at legend level. That means that uh, that, that seasonal chase weapon is going to have a special ornament that you can only earn if you hit legend rank. Meaning you're going to have plenty of reasons to grind both of these playlists as they're going to have unique items tied to them. I already talked a bit about this system, maybe I'll have another video coming out talking specifically about ranking modes, but I love the way this sounds. Giving us unique rewards for playing Crucible isn't a bad idea at all. But of course, one of the biggest questions about all of this is matchmaking, especially if you're a PC player. How are they going to handle solos versus fire teams? Well, we get a bit of an answer towards that as well. PvP design lead Derek Carroll took the helm to state this. It's clear that solo players are facing an uphill battle in the Crucible when they encounter well-coordinated opponents. Players in fire teams have a substantial advantage, particularly as average skill increases. In the current Crucible, solo players at virtually all skill levels win fewer than half of their games. So, we're making some under-the-hood adjustments to try to ensure that even when solo players do end up fighting against fire teams, they'll be doing it on a more even battlefield. Instead of using your normal skill value when in a fire team, we will use a modified value that takes your fire team size into account. The larger your fire team, the larger the potential modification. 
We don't want to try to completely nullify the benefit of team play, so our initial values are conservative and can and will be tuned as we see the system working in the wild. All of these settings can be configured on our servers without waiting for a new update, so we'll be able to make additional tweaks based on what we see. Which of course goes to show that they're not going to be making a completely separate playlist for solo players, which was something I was kind of hoping for, at least when it came to PC. But they are going to try to tune their matchmaking to take fire team size into account. So if you go in as a full four stack or a six stack, maybe in uh, Iron Banner control or whatnot, it's going to hopefully try not to match you up against solo players. Right now, personally, I can't really make any sort of opinion statement on the way this system's going to work until I get a chance to play it. But right now, mm, running into full stacks of fire teams is a real problem, especially on PC. And it's certainly a problem we had uh, back in Destiny 1 before they introduced the no fire team playlist. I will say I was hoping that they would kind of make that option available for uh, com the competitive playlist at the very least, so that people could just go in there as a solo queue. But we'll just have to see where this goes when update 1.2.0 comes out. But alright Guardians, those are my thoughts to the ranking system here that's coming in Destiny 2 Expansion 2 Warmind. Personally, I think it's about time we finally got a system like this within the world of Destiny. I am happy that they're making it so that you know we have a separate more casual ranking system with valor and then the more hardcore sweaty system with glory i love that there's going to be unique rewards that you can only earn within these systems that is such a fantastic incentive if i had one complaint it would probably be the whole matchmaking thing right now matchmaking is definitely rough for solos and trying to get that uh trying to get your ranking up as a solo player especially if you want play on a platform with a smaller player base like pc it's probably still going to be rough i'm very happy to see that they're implementing changes to their matchmaking algorithm to you know kind of weigh things a little bit differently so hopefully as a solo queue you're not going to be going up against structured four stacks all the time i imagine it's probably still going to be the case and while i would have preferred for there to be some sort of like mercenary solo queue only playlist for uh for competitive i'll 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 you know i'll, I'll have to play with these new matchmaking settings before i can really give my final opinion on it but alright Guardians, those are my thoughts. What are yours? How do you feel about the implementation of the ranking system here in D2? What do you like about it? What changes would you like to see come to it? Be sure to leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, in the Black Link, you Guardians stay frosty.